Poison Ivy is a toxic plant known to cause skin irritation, blistering, and burning sensations. This plant can grow everywhere, so depending on how sensitive your skin is, an encounter with poison ivy can result in a trip to the doctor's office. In this video, we'll go over how to identify poison ivy, how to get rid of poison ivy on your property, and how to prevent poison ivy from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Poison ivy is a versatile plant that can grow tall or low. Young plants start herbaceous but become woody as they mature. Woody vines creep up trees or vertical structures. If none are nearby, it grows as a shrub. When growing vertically, poison ivy can reach heights of over 75 feet. As a shrub, poison ivy grows up to 4 feet tall, or it can creep lower to the soil. This plant's leaves can vary. Even different leaves on the same plant can appear different from one another. The leaves can be shiny or dull, the leaf edges can be toothed or not, and some plants can be hairy while others are not. The most common trait all poison ivy plants possess is their compound leaves. Each leaf is composed of three leaflets. Remember, leaves of three, let it be. The leaflets can be between 2 and 5 inches in length. New leaves start forming in spring and start red, then turn green as they mature. As fall comes around, the leaves turn an even brighter red or yellow before falling off the vine. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Poison ivy can grow in many places up trees, along the ground, or up the sides of buildings. It can grow in a wide variety of soil moisture conditions, but it needs full or partial sunlight. When looking for poison ivy on your property, be on the lookout for their three leaflets. Common sites where poison ivy is a problem include woodland edges, gardens and landscaping, roadsides, and residential or commercial structures. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products dry completely. Poison ivy that's grown tall can be clipped near ground level and pulled down from its structure. However, this comes with the risk of contact with the plant, so full coverage should always be worn. Be aware that the plant will need to be clipped for several growing seasons before it is fully controlled. To avoid contact with the plant, we recommend you use an herbicide like Eraser 41% Glyphosate. Keep in mind that Eraser is a non-selective herbicide that will treat any plant it is applied to or may drift to. Mix 2.5 fluid ounces of product into 1 gallon of water to treat every 300 square feet. To keep track of where you've sprayed, add a marking dye like Vision Pro Max to your solution. Vision Pro Max is a non-herbicide additive that dyes your solution. When you apply with Vision Pro Max, any foliage you spray will temporarily be dyed blue so you know exactly where you've treated. Vision Pro Max is highly concentrated, so you only need to add one-tenth of a fluid ounce of dye for every one gallon of solution. When your solution is ready, spot treat targeted weeds with a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. This is simpler when the plant has grown short, but if you want to treat poison ivy that's grown tall with eraser, trim the vine at 2 or 3 feet above the surface and manually remove the higher portion. You can then spray the remaining foliage. Note that eraser must be absorbed through a plant's leaves in order to take effect. This product has no soil activity and will not be taken up through the roots. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. Conduct follow-up applications as necessary. You should see results within 2 to 4 days, but a second application may be made after 4 weeks. Applications are most effective when the plant is young and actively growing before flower or seed production. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. Once you've controlled poison ivy on your property, look out for further growth, especially in the spring and summer. To minimize contact with the plant, we recommend you spray new foliage with eraser. Newly sprouted plants can be pulled from beds, but be sure to wear full coverage to avoid direct contact with the plant. 
If poison ivy plants are sprouting from turf grass, regular mowing will control the plants. A lawn dense with taller, trimmed grass can better choke out weeds and prevent them from establishing. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can safely remove poison ivy from your property, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.